How do you think you did? Uh, well, I think the better question for that is, uh, <laughs> what didn't I do well? Um, you know, I, I thought I did all right. Um, there are a lot of things that we need to clean up offensively. Um, you know, with our communication, more so our execution, with our plays that we're given. Uh, you know, but you know, first time coming out, you know, in a real uh, game-like situation, environment. Um, you now I thought it was pretty good uh, for the first time. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of things that we need to clean up, uh, but that's what we got filmed for. You know, when we hop on onto the plane. Uh, we'll take a look at uh, some of those uh, plays that uh, didn't go the way we wanted to, and uh, you know we'll get those fixed. What should you have done different on the interception? What should you, what should you have done different on the interception? Did you... Yeah, probably not throwing it. <laughs> you know, probably not throwing it. Um, you know, I, I think the DB made a great play. Um, you know, that that wasn't a a good decision on my part. You know, when you get down to the red area, you got to make uh, good, quick decisions, and that wasn't a quick decision, or that was a quick decision, but not a good decision. You know, just something that I you know, got to continue to learn from, take that and uh, put it in my arsenal, you know, and hope hope not to make that same mistake again. Were you looking another, at another receiver before you came back to him, or, or were you looking at him first? Or? Yeah, I just went through my progression. And, uh, you know, to me, Adam looked wide open. Um, he, was. he was. But I, <laughs> you know, I, I was late. And, you know, in this league, you can never be late over the middle. Um, in the red area, like I said, those are uh, you know recipes for a disaster. That's what happened. Before that, you had like eight completions in a row. Were you feeling? Were you feeling it? I guess is the question. Were you feeling good about um, stacking good decision and good throw after good throw? I would say we were getting into a good groove um, offensively. Um, you know, I, th I think we did a pretty good job uh, converting on our third downs, um, on our fourth downs as well. You know, but then again, it, it's it's a one play at at a, at a time kind of mentality that we need to have. You can never get, um, you know, too high. You know, hey, we're we're feeling good. You know, maybe take a shot. You know, whatever play we're given, you know, got to go through the fundamentals and techniques that uh, we've been taught throughout the week. You know, and use that. To a what went into the long Gesicki completion uh, play working out. Well, I think it, it first off started out with the line. I think the line did a tremendous job today. Um, you know, they they kept the pocket clean, um, gave me a lot of time uh, to step up into the pocket, you know, and, and make that throw. And it wasn't just that play. You know, there were numerous occasions throughout the, the first quarter and second quarter, uh, you know, where they've really shown up and, you know, had given me a clean pocket. But yeah, they played one robber on that. You know, just went over the top. Mike had a one-on-one -on -one matchup with him and uh, just gave him a chance. You had the 50-yarder to Mike that you just talked about and the 16-yarder to Hollins that was called back. How much of a focal point for you was it to take those shots downfield and not settle for the shorter throws? Yeah, though, you know, I'm, I'm just going through my progression, but those were all within the play. Um, you know, what I seen from what the defense had given me, uh, I made my mind up on where I was going to go with the ball if this wasn't open or if this wasn't open. Um, you know, and I think for quarterbacks, uh, being able to understand where you're going, being decisive with knowing where you're going with the ball, um, you know, and getting the ball out quick um, helps with kind of building up that uh, a rhythm for, for you. Was the line of communication today uh, Coach Godsey in the press box directly to you. Was that the line of communication? Uh, really, Charlie Charlie was uh, giving me the plays, um, you know, and I, I don't I, I, I don't really know how that uh, kind of communication uh, came in, whether it's from George or whether he said something to Charlie. Um, but yeah. Do you, you know him for a long time? Is it, has that worked out well? Uh, what what kind of communication do you have with Charlie? With Charlie? Yeah, I think it's it's working really good. Um, you know, I like who Charlie is. I've known him uh, for quite some time. Um, I think he's a really good coach, personable. You know, a lot of the guys on the team like him, but yeah, I, I think he's a really good coach. Tua, what's that moment like when you come out of the tunnel and you're preparing to, uh, that you kind of ran by and you had to come back? 
Yeah, no, that that was <laughs> that wasn't good on my part, but um, you know, it's it's good to be able to see my parents. Um, I never take that for granted. Anytime that I get to see them, um, say hi to them, spend time with them, um, you know, I'm I'm gonna take that time, you know, uh, to to do that. Um, you know, but it was great seeing them. What do you think of um, the other number one today? Fields. Yeah, I think he did good. Um, you know, little, a little tough uh, in the beginning, you know, the first couple series. Um, but, you know, you could see he kind of found his rhythm throughout the game and kept playing, stayed in there. Um, I mean, he's, he's good. You know, he's a good dual threat quarterback, too. You know, he can stay in the pocket and throw, throw on the run, you know, run the ball like we've seen. Um, you know, but, yeah, I, I thought he did really good. You know, wish him the best. To how much time do you feel like you need to get a comfort level with Fuller and, and Devontae? And I'm assuming, I'm, well, Waddle's already here, but at Albert? I think, I think only time can tell, you know, when, whenever uh, those guys are, uh, you know, available and they're ready to get back in action. Uh, you know, it's just practice. I think for anyone, it just takes practice for them to, to get good at something or, um, you know, build communication, build chemistry with one another. I really think that's that's all it is. Thanks, guys.